very interesting one. It is about us validating ourselves externally. Okay, this is a huge problem in society at the moment. It's external validation for the inner self. External validation for the inner self. This is a situation where you need your experiences on the outside to go well in order to feel good about yourself on the inside. You can understand? You need your external experiences to go well because they will determine how you feel about yourself. You do not see the difference between your external world and your internal world. So if you fail at something in the external world, you think you're failing as a human. You think you're failing as a person, okay? You think that. So this typically will happen to someone who has low self-esteem. If you have low self-esteem, you don't love yourself, you don't like yourself, then what happens on the outside tends to matter too much to you, right? So you have to do well in your exams to love yourself. You have to do well at work to love yourself. You have to run the fastest to be able to love yourself. Now, in certain families, you'll find that parents set it up that way, which is ridiculous. And they set it up that if you get, you get the rewards of love if you get good grades, which is child abuse. Yeah, just to make no bones about it, it's child abuse. And they do it to, for themselves to look good socially under the pretense that it's good for you as a person financially as you get a better job and all that stuff, right? But the truth of the matter is they are kidnapping the love that they owe you under the ransom of you being great into the house and money, okay? So it builds the child into a mentality which makes them think they need to do good things in the external world in order to love themselves. And if they don't achieve in the external world, they don't love themselves. They were not given love unconditionally, right? Or karmically, they're just that type of person that hasn't learned to love themselves. Now, as soon as the world sees people like this, you've got to, they've got a big problem because other employees, other people at school, other people, your friends, partners, they see that this person needs to, needs to have got things right in order to love themselves. So let me push them and make them work harder. So this person's gonna stay in the office until 10 at night because they know that if their task isn't done, they'll go home unhappy. If, if, if their project didn't go well, they'll, they'll, they'll feel bad about themselves personally. So they're gonna work really hard. That model that needs to look perfect, we're gonna make us not eat because she's gonna, because she'll feel bad if she doesn't look attractive. She'll take it personally. So it's that is the problem that I'm talking about you today. External validation for your inner self. Now, the remedy we know in yoga is to know yourself, is to have a connection with your soul, because the soul is the reservoir of all the love and all the happiness and all the wisdom and all the joy and all the peace, which is self-love, that you ever need. Now, if you're disconnected to yourself, you're gonna, by nature, look for it outside, and, you, and, and that's normal too, but it's wrong to look for it outside um, as your final summary of who you are. When you finish work, when you finish your task, and you finish the things that you do, you have a chance to be what you are. But they're different things. What you do and what you are need to be separate. What you do and what you are are different things. Yeah? So you go out in the day and you do the best you can in your day, and you, you literally, I mean, I'm talking, you work hard, you continue and you do it all. And then wherever you got to, you accept. That's the best I've done. And then you go, you switch it off and you become you again. You're happy, you're smiley, you're peaceful, you're loving, you're connected to God, and you rest. And then you start again the next day doing your karma, performing and going through your dharma. But you separate the two. No external validation for the internal self. It's very hard to do in this society because this society makes us think being looking good, earning X amount and getting these grades are what you should be doing to be a good person. That's wrong.
Those that are rich within naturally, you'll see that they won't even seek it on the outside because they don't need it in the same, to the same degree. And if they did do it, they do it with detachment. They do it knowing that it's what they do and they can switch it off at night and go to bed. Like you'll see it a lot of times with musicians because they want and need the love and some of them will need the love. You know, they put so much into their career and it's great when they're selling number ones, but the minute they start going down and not getting in the football team or not getting number one, that's it. They're on the bottle or, you know, on harder drugs or something is going completely wrong because you can see they loved themselves because people loved them. They didn't love themselves anyway. But then you get musicians and footballers who you can see they love themselves anyway. They put everything into their work. And if it doesn't go so well, they just carry on making albums and making them do their bit in their team and they go back to who they are. It's those that have made them that misconnection that what I'm doing outside reflects on who I am inside. That's the big problem. That's when you can also lead to self-sabotage, by the way, and toxic and abuse and lots of things. Because then when you now have not achieved get attaining the love and, and verification of your life from the outside and validation of it, then you hate yourself. Because you've not learned to love yourself. And society says, yeah, you're not good. Okay, how can I get rid of this feeling of not being good? Drink more, take more drugs, abuse myself, and, and then hate myself for it afterwards. And then you get into that cycle. That's why I said from the very beginning with children, with people, you've got to love them for the sake of loving them. And then help them to go forward. If they want to, go that far. But if they don't want to, and do not make them feel like they're gonna get rewards of love for doing good things on the outside. That's really poor behavior. You love them anyway. But more, more so it's about yourselves, making sure that you're not doing that. I mean, it is, it's, it's a case of, 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 it's slightly different conversation, because it's more about attachment than it is about accumulation. But it's this, it's this misprogramming that, that worries me with people that, that are around at the moment, is you can see it, something's going really wrong with certain individuals and you worry like, yeah, you should sweat blood for your work, yes and your studies, but then switch off. Then let the universe see what happened afterwards. Go back to who you are. You are different. Even with me, with my work with Chikri and how much <clears throat> I have on Chikri, uh, how much I love what I do, I do switch off from it. I know. <laughs> I do as best as I can in the office and the girls and everything, everyone who's ever, they know. But then I switch off. I go to the gym, see my friends, whatever. Always sleep well, no matter what is happening. It's, it's, it's done, that's my work, that's what I did. It's not who I am, I'm still God's son, end of it all. But that's not an excuse for being lazy.